Now, a Mississippi news anchor got fired because of this. Well, we know what she'd have a Snoop Dogg tattoo on her shoulder. For shizzle, my nizzle. <laughs> for shizzle, my nizzle. <laughs> she can't say for shizzle, my nizzle. Now that we're talking about this. <laughs> yes. There are too many thick. Y'all need to make a book <laughs> of stuff that no one can say. There has to be a book of stuff that nobody could ever say. And then we could all study. Ever, ever, ever. Then the book include, would be banned. Include everything. <laughs> include <laughs> everything. Because I tell you, the things that change, you yeah. can say this, but you can't say that. But next week, you might not be able to say this. It's hard to keep up. It's hard to keep up. And if you're a person of a certain age, there's stuff we do and we say, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. So if you watch the Super Bowl this year, you may have seen this ad from Timo. I like it. Yep, it's mine. The prices blow my mind. Now, Timu is an online marketplace that focuses on giving you the best quality products for the best price. Now, if you're in the United States, Canada, or Australia, you can buy items on Timu. Just so you understand, Timu is the number one shopping app in the App Store, beating apps like Amazon, Walmart, even Nike. Now, for this spring, Timu is running a massive site-wide sale. Head over to Timu.com right now or download the app for discounts up to 90% off. Now, if you use the promo code in the description, you'll get an extra 30% off. Code again is JOY7327. So if you want great products at a great deal from the top shopping app in the country, Timu is for you. Click on the link in the description to find out why Timu is the number one shopping app in the app store. Oh yeah, before I forget, Timu also offers free shipping and free returns up to 90 days. So, if you got a second, click on the link in the description and check out Timu today. All right, so this story starts off with a news anchor named Barbie Bassett, who used to work at WLBT in Jackson, Mississippi. Here's her website so you can see it. Now, Barbie was fired for making these alleged racist comments on air. Check it out. Snoop Dogg is getting deeper into the wine business. He teamed up with the Australian wine brand 19 Crimes about three years ago to produce a red wine called Snoop Cali Red. And now he's expanding the line to include white wine. It's called Snoop Cali Blanc. And Snoop Dogg says there's nothing better. Well, he hadn't tried anything for Julie Leavenway yet. I agree with that. You know how Snoop and, and Martha Stewart uh, get had together. Had a collaboration, so, yes. Uh, they ought to, he ought to have a collaboration with uh, Julie. No mm -hmm. telling what Snoop Dogg and Julie Leavenway could come up with. I think that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> well, we know it. she'd have a Snoop Dogg tattoo on her shoulder. A shizzle, my nizzle. <laughs> a shizzle, my nizzle. <laughs> Barbie Bassett, news anchor for WLBT, has been absent from the public eye lately, causing speculation about her current status in the news industry. So people reached out to the news agency and they found that she is no longer working there because of these comments. Now, this is the second time, again, the second time that Barbie has been involved in some controversy. Previously, she apologized for what the news organization called racially insensitive comments. Listen to these comments in the past. These are, again, this is what she was reprimanded before in the past. And then listen to her apology, and then we'll come back and talk about the recent stuff. Okay, but Carmen, girl, sis, I know you well enough to know that those guys working behind you, they probably know who the celebrity game day picker is. So... You need to go swing by the Kroger's, get you a, a, a chocolate pie. A chocolate pie. A chocolate pie. Well, a pecan pie would be just as fine. And you need to go offering it to some of those guys working behind you. Get the scoop. And see if you can get the scoop from one of those for, for return. I know your your mother or your grandmammy has got your some grandmammy. type of a recipe that really? you could whip up, don't you think? So Barbie had to apologize. Here's her apology. Well, we have heard from many of you regarding an exchange in a WLBT newscast last week. In an effort to be transparent, we want you to know we have had meaningful internal conversations and discussions about this situation. Barbie Bassett would like to address those comments now. Last Friday on our newscast today at 11, I used a term that was offensive to many in our audience and to my co-workers here at WLBT. And though it was not intentional, I now understand how both my comment was insensitive 
and hurtful. And I have apologized to Carmen Poe. And now I would like to apologize to you because that is not the heart of who I am. And for that, I humbly ask you for your forgiveness. And I apologize to everyone I have offended. I will learn from this and I will participate in training so I can better understand our history and her people. I cannot mend the hurt that my comment caused, but I pray that you will forgive me and that you'll extend grace to my awful mistake. Now, since March 8th, Ms. Bassett has been silent on social media and a highly placed source at WLBT has confirmed that Bassett no longer is employed at the station. I don't know if, if that's fire. She should have been fired. She didn't, she, it's for shizzle, my nizzle. She might not even Bassett. know what nizzle means, yo. I'm not, like, come on, we got like, stop, man. That's not a reason to fire that woman, yo. No, she was been fired. Did she, did she release a statement? No, not as of yet. <sighs> That's the thing with hip hop, man. Hip hop is so big and so mainstream, and it's just like who who can consume it and who can't. You know what I mean? She's been there for twenty plus years. Who can repeat slang and who can't? How old is that woman, yo? She's been there for twenty years. She, she might be old. She probably has no idea. She probably a Snoop fan. Nizzle is a derivative of the N word. Which is crazy. She might not have any idea. She just thinks she's sounding cool repeating Snoop Dogg. Mm. But she is my nizzle. But she is my nizzle. That's not a fireable offense. I hope she sues. Well, she is fired. Even progressive, the Young Turks thought this was ridiculous. Okay, so now the word. It's a replacement of the N word. You know what else is a replacement of the N word? The N word. What we call the N word. That is a replacement because you don't want to say the actual word. Snoop put nizzle in the song because he didn't want to say that word. He wanted to say a substitute word. Well, now we can't say the substitute words? Then you can't say the N-word either. Like literally the phrase N-word, that's a substitute. Oh, so you don't I have to say the saying. actual word. Okay, right? I see what you're saying now. So now- That's actually a really good point. I didn't even think about oh, that. Right, so now wait. Now if I can't say the N-word, like meaning the phrase N-word, and I can't say nizzle, how do I even refer to the original ugly word? Like it makes no sense at all. Nobody's even trying to make sense, okay? He made it a playful thing in the song so that people could say it, okay? So this is insanity through and through. Okay, so now you know the story. Now you've seen some opinions. What do you think? Now, me personally, should this woman have been fired? Absolutely not. Matter of fact, I don't think she should have ever even apologized for the first time when she said the woman should go buy a pie from Kroger's and convince the security guards to tell her who the celebrity was. Like, that's ridiculous. But there are some of you out there who are going to disagree with me, who are going to say, Nate, we disagree with what you're saying. And if that's true, let me know in the comment section because at this point in time, I don't know what anyone can say, right? If what this woman said those two times are enough to get her fired, then it seems like we're all just waiting for the, the day that we just happen to say a popular or something and you know find out that hey you said the wrong thing and it's time to be fired but again what's your opinion about the situation now at the end of the day don't forget to like share subscribe do all that great youtube stuff and click the link in the description for 30 percent off if you want to shop at timu again the number one shopping app in the app store my name is nate delore and i'll see you next time peace